Hey everyone, this is Lalo Reddit from Abstract Music Lab and today we're recreating the bass line from Ben Boomer's track In Memoriam. This was a request posted in one of my videos and I'm happy to show you today what I've done. This is the original track. And now the recreation. And now so you can compare both. Pretty damn close, I'm really happy with this recreation. It took me a while to get this sound, but I was really happy with what I was able to achieve. And as usual, you can grab the preset here in the description below. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you loved it, hit the subscribe. And if you have any recommendations, leave me a message here in the comment section below, or let me know what you think about this recreation also here in the comment section below. If you want to support the channel, you can also buy me a coffee available here in the description below, or you can buy my preset pack available here in the description below, and you can also see the showcase in the top right corner. But enough with the talking and let's get down to business. Let's get down with the sound design. So we're going to start here with an initial preset from Serum. We're going to start with oscillator A and oscillator B. Oscillator A is going to be a saw. Oscillator B is going to be a sine wave. And it sounds like this. Like completely off the sound, right? So what we're going to do is pick the octaves and put it both down. And we're gonna also pick the semitones of oscillator B and put it to plus seven. It sounds a little bit closer to it, but still pretty far from it. But what we're gonna do is pick the filter, MG low 24. With the filter, we're gonna pick A and B, and we're gonna put the cutoff to 300. The drive is going to be at 63%, so really intense. So because of that, I'm putting the level here to 60%. Let's put it to 55. And now I'm taking a little bit of the low end of the sound with the resonance. Listen how it's going to be a little bit less subby and a little bit more midi. So if I put the resonance all the way down, Basically, I'm just intensifying this section over here and giving a little bit more of emphasis over there. But still, it doesn't have that swelling sound of the bass that in the original track it has. Just so you can listen to the original again. And especially over here in the first note, it sounds like there are two notes playing at the same time. So mono, now you can listen to only one note. And to create that, we have to activate here the portamento. So it's going to be here at always. And the portamento is going to be here at 439. There we go. That's the character of the sound. And that's what we need this portamento for. But we're going to use the effects section now to further do some tweaks in the sound. So filter, we're going to pick here a high 24. And we're going to put this to 41 hertz, 42. Basically, we don't want any frequency below 42 hertz. And that's why we're using this high 24. And also, we're going to pick an EQ. In the EQ, we're going to pick a bell curve for the first one and a high cut for the second one. The bell curve is going to be at 400. The Q is going to be at 43. And the gain is going to be at 3 dB. Just so you can listen to it. It's basically just giving a little bit more of character in the low mids. Now, the low pass, what we're going to do is 776 hertz. The Q is going to be at 42. Just so we have a little bit more of filtering in the sound as well. But lastly, what we have to do is to make sure that the automations that we have over here with the bending sound matches what Ben is doing in his track. So to do this, we're going to pick the macro over here. We're going to put both to the fine of oscillator A and oscillator B. But we're not going to use this kind of shape over here. We're going to use the Alt Shift. And we're going to put this to minus 50. Again, Alt Shift, minus 50. And now you, this is going to make the sound a little bit bendy towards this automation over here. Just so you can listen to it. It does a uh, 
tone and this is what we want to do with the sound. Ben possibly did this with the pitch band over here, but I decided to do this with a macro and that's it. Now to the final sound. And that's it. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you loved it, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any abstract videos in the future. And I hope to see you in the next week in the next abstract video. Cheers.